a sub $200 document camera with AI capabilities, you're gonna to wanna to check this out. Hi there, my name is Ed Choi. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. In my channel, I talk about everything to do with The Office. And today we are talking about this sub $200 document camera from iPivo that has, get this, built-in AI features. Now that's pretty incredible. I'm gonna go into that AI feature in a little bit. Now, before we begin, if you don't know who IPVO is, they make sophisticated technology tools for the educational environment, like this document camera that's under $200 with built-in AI feature. Now, just because they're geared towards the education environment doesn't mean you can't use it for your home office or for the corporate environment. Now, the product I'm gonna be reviewing is this document camera here, which is called the IPVO V4K Pro. And I will be connecting this to my computer so you can see the image quality and I can show you some of the features, especially the built-in AI feature. Now, before we begin, just some basics. As you can see, this is a fairly lightweight, but actually it feels very substantial document camera. This weighs in at a, a light 1.28 pounds, but just because it, it's light, it actually doesn't mean it's cheaply built. It actually has a very solid base and it doesn't it's not flimsy and all the components here are very very well made including the articulating camera head now one of the things that you'll notice is there when you get the unit there is the cable that's bundled together and so let me just unbundle this cable and we'll do the wire management and then i'll give you the other specs as well so to cable manage this there's actually a groove alongside here and this is kind of again one of those little innovations instead of adding extra material they're very creative in using the equipment here or using uh, the proper pieces of metal i should say here and just creating your own cable management so what i think they're doing is they're cutting down on a lot of excess material that you don't necessarily need and look at this once i've done the cable management it looks great it doesn't affect the articulation of the actual camera head, look at that. I got the full rotation and you can see there's no stress on the cable there. So in addition to the well thought out cable management over here, the camera itself is an eight megapixel camera. It has full 30 frames per second video, which means that everything's gonna be super smooth and not choppy. It has 12 times digital zoom and it's got a maximum viewing area of 13.46 inches by 10.04 inches. So you've got a nice wide base, uh, a v nice wide viewing base, which is great for a camera like this. And of course you've got the adjustability so you can bring the camera down closer or higher for your viewing. And it's got a full three year warranty. Another thing that I really like and something that's useful in classroom is the cable length. It's a 4.9 foot cable, which is ample cable if you need to connect it to your desktop computer in your classroom or if your computer is far away it allows you that flexibility without having to get um, annoying extenders or anything like that on the back of the unit too you'll notice that there is a light button we have an autofocus button we have this brightness button over here and this my friends this is what makes this camera so cool this is actually a built-in ai feature for the microphone. So it does have a built-in microphone on the camera head itself. And the AI feature, when you turn it down, it actually eliminates the background noise. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug into my computer. We're gonna put it up onto my screen. I'm gonna show you how it works and we'll dive right into some of the other features. So as you can see, the color reproduction is very nice. In terms of the actual image quality, I think it's top notch. You have a wide 13 and a half inch viewing area, which is fantastic for most applications. So this is a nice little reading book. And you can see if I'm in a classroom environment, this is, uh, makes it very nice to read. And of course, if you put it up on the big screen, then the whole class can see it. So now let's get into what we've all been waiting for, at least what I've been waiting for, is the testing of the AI audio microphone. So, all right, so now let's have some fun. I have a dog barking in the background. This is around 80 dB in the background. I'm going to use the microphone on the IPVO V4K to see if it cuts down on all this nasty background noise. All right, so now I'm talking. I am actually using, go back over here. The AI feature is on. There's a little light over here that indicates it's on. And I'm barking, or I'm, I'm not barking. The dog's barking in the background. Pretty chaotic and hectic. And this, the AI feature should be able to take my, my audio and actually uh, enhance it and then also filter out some of this background noise. 
So I'm just going to talk at a normal pace. I'm not going to try to talk over the dog right now, just to see if we can really work this AI feature. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go turn off that AI feature. And that feature is off now. And again, I'm going to just talk at a normal pace. The reason why I'm having the camera pointing towards me is that I actually have uh, the, or the actual microphone is built right in here. So I want to make sure that I'm actually speaking into the microphone so to give it a fair chance. So hopefully you'll see actually a, a noticeable difference between the AI on and the AI off. What I'm going to do now is stop this recording and uh, we'll dissect it a little bit. So there you go, the AI feature I thought worked really, really well. And again, I know I've said this a few times, it's a sub $200 document camera, $150 US MSRP, which is really insane value for what you get. The microphone feature alone was worth the $149, I think. So I wanna actually thank iPivo for setting me this unit for me to do a full product review on. I thought this document camera was for the price point and for the features, an amazing little device for the classroom and again for your home office too if you're doing any meetings and you can use this as a, uh, as a web camera and again utilize that AI feature or in a corporate boardroom setting. The feature was great. The articulating camera head, super, super nice feature. So you don't have to spin the whole document camera around if you need to change the orientation. The cable management, I think, was genius in terms of how they did it. It's such a simple, sleek design, which I really liked. The visualizer software, I dove a little bit into it, but I'd like to dive a little bit deeper because I think the software is going to be really good, again, for classrooms as well. So there you go. Let me know what you think of the IPVO V4K docking camera. I think for the price point and for the performance, this is a wonderful tool for pretty much any classroom setting for your home office and for your corporate boardroom. Check it out. I'm actually going to leave some links down below in terms of where you can get the document camera and some additional information on the IPVO V4K Pro unit. So if you have any questions, again, or comments, feel free to leave a comment down below. And by now, if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for? Make sure you click on the subscribe button and tap on that bell so you can be notified of my video uploads. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.